Welcome at the Casewise instruction videos. Today we're going to look into the use of templates while making a diagram. I've got my opening screen here and I've started up the Object Explorer over here. Uh, normally we use the uh, production model, the Zico application architecture model, but I might as well use the sandbox model for this training purpose. So I'm going to open up this model, the sandbox. I'm going to click on the corporate modeler diagrams. Now it shows me all the diagrams. And I have uh, in my filter options, I have chosen yes in the column of templates. Template yes. So it now shows me all the templates. There are quite a few templates in, um, in use uh, at Zigo. But First, let's have a look at what a template really is. Therefore, I'm going to select one of the templates, select it, right click, open diagram. And opening the diagram will uh, start up the corporate modeler. And here we are at the corporate modeler, which is showing me um, the canvas of uh, the template. So, okay, what is a template? Well, a template consists uh, really of three things. The first thing is that we have a window over here, uh, which holds the various symbols that we are allowed to use in the drawing, in the diagram. Uh, you could say the second thing a template holds is uh, what well, kind of the, the rules the rules that are applied to the use of uh, symbols. Behind the scenes, uh, various rules, uh, rules are um, set up that um, enables or disables the, uh, the, the things like connections between uh, symbols and all that. So that's the second thing that a template is made of, the rules. And the last thing is the basic setup of your diagram. So in this template, uh, we've got a title bar. We've got a uh, sort of a legend. I'm going to zoom in with using uh, function six. So the legend, function four. And uh, this template holds uh, some instruction text that helps you to, uh, to get started making a diagram. So that's all there is to a template. So why are there uh, so many different templates? I'm going to go back to my Object Explorer. Well, basically, we want to diagram three types of architecture in CaseWise. Uh, we've got the business process architecture. We've got our um, application architecture. And finally, we've got our infrastructure architecture. And those three types of architecture all have their own symbols and the way the, the diagrams look. So whenever I want would want to make a uh, business process diagram, it would be best to choose this one, the BPMN swim lane extended detail template, uh, which gives me all the symbols I need to, uh, to draw, to make a drawing of a business process. And if I would uh, want to make a application architecture diagram, it would be best to use um, these. So the, you can see it in the category, an application template, uh, where there is a distinction between the baseline diagrams with the uh, with the level one to five or the project diagrams. I talked about it uh, uh, in the first video. So that's all there is to it. If you want to make uh, a diagram, just use the right template for the purpose. Don't uh, make a diagram uh, of a business process uh, using an application architecture uh, template or the other way around. Oh, and just to be complete, I show, I'm going to show you um, how you can choose a template uh, while making a new diagram. So here I am in the corporate modeler. I'm going to choose File, New Diagram. I'm going to make it in the sandbox for this 
training purpose. Where is it? Start with an S. This one, I want to make it in the sandbox. It's a test diagram. And this is the place where you can choose from the various templates in the model. So here are all the, the, the templates. And I want to make a business process diagram. So I want to use this one, the template BPMN swim lane extended detail. Choose that. OK. And it uh, opens a new diagram based on the template BPMN. So I've got all the symbols I need and uh, all the existing objects that I uh, might need to make this uh, diagram. Thank you. Bye-bye.